All right, so starting this thing up. We ran into some issues. I mean, it's pretty heart wrenching, so. Hey, we thought our soul mill was ready to go. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Bandsaw blade sharpener. Let's get to it. Open it up. Inside this box is a foam. And then from the foam, instructions, and a bunch of doggone parts. Yeah, you got the grindstone, DC motor. Uh, we got our machine itself. <laughs> Made in Sweden, like the Swiss Army knife. Sweet. Got the fuses. And your controller. Empty box. Need a 10 and an 8. A pair of pliers and a T twin. Hardware. Your upper leg. Tapers as well. Big to low. All four of them are going to attach like that. Things should be simple enough. Take the carriage bolt. Stick the carriage bolt through. And you take a washer. Put the washer on top of that. First leg, that's what it'll look like. Keep that taper going all the way down from the upper to the lower. It'll stand on the leg just like that. Now that I built one, I can build three more. Right. <clears throat> Minus that hole and that hole, which we're gonna wait. This is the rear side arms are gonna come out of. You got uh, your wing nut goes up top, goes out. Carriage bolt goes in. All the rest of them look like that, I believe, except for the. You can look and see. Them two are so close together, you can't put a socket on it. So, you got to use a wrench. Issues. Issues exist because of the lack of knowledge with the current situation you are in. A machine will act out when it's not getting what it has to have. By understanding this, you can work on the actual problem yourself. The better you understand a machine and are attentive to its needs, the better your relationship with it will be.
take the time to learn what the machine is unhappy with and don't force it to do what you want instead. Machines are simple. Fix yourself and the issues go away. Wouldn't it be nice if people treated one another with the same attitude? They can, but it starts with you. Everything you learn in life will be faced with issues, so learn to embrace them as a new challenge. Challenges are fun because they test the intellect we currently have. Resolve the new challenge, and I promise you will grow. But you can't grow if you give up. Embrace the new challenge. And one day you will look back and laugh at how frustrated you got over something you now find so simple. This is a guard. It's got this nice film over top of it for your viewing pleasure. Then the one that's really awesome, second side. Ooh, I don't mean to tear it. Oh, yeah. There we go. So nice. Oh, they want you to tap your own hole. They're crazy. I'm not going that. Oh, maybe I am. God. Ah, there we go. Jeez. Try doing that with a little bitty small handle. <laughs> I love it. This is, it's real simple. I mean, it has no tight fit. But it does have a bushing on the inside of it to help take up some of the space. Wait, no, that's just a washer. It has no tight fit, but uh, it's got a carter pin to hold it on. Uh, but I mean, that's real nice because the blade will sit in on here. And as it rides around, it won't have any sharp edge to grab. So you do want the bearings going towards the controller. You got a profiler. It is meant to give you the shape that you need for the stone. Here's the stone they give you to do it with and whatever safety that you feel like you need, you should uh, put on. And the only reason why I'm not wearing gloves is because this if it was to grab a glove, it could suck you into it, so I'm not worried about a glove. Hold it lightly. Let's see. Nice and smooth, all for the first turn on. That is 
Oh, that's, <laughs> that's quiet. It won't be quiet for long, but let's see. Let me, let me take my glasses off. I mean, literally, I don't think you get much better than that. I'm turning anywhere I want, and the profile is good. Embrace your issues as challenges, and you will begin to embark upon ventures that you could have never imagined possible. Most issues lie within ourselves, and by correcting ourselves, then we are able to fix them. So take a deep breath, maybe a step back, assess the issue, and accept the challenge. Then you just sit back and watch. This this thing works great. So, uh, I mean, does it have quirks? Of course. Uh, you got to learn how to operate any piece of machinery, but literally it took me no time to figure it out. So uh, you got, you got your adjustment screw right here for how far you're going to advance the blade itself. So that way, that is the blade coming on this side of the profile. Uh, and you want the tooth set to there, that's all that adjustment. Then you got your three adjustments in the back, which is seven degree, 10 degree, and 14 degree. This particular blade happened to be a 10 degree, so I set it on the 10 degree notch. Uh, other than that, you got all degrees that you can set it on, and then you see it does the magic for you. You got two knobs, grinder and advancer. That's it. <laughs> Let's see. Potato chip. Now that's what I call sauce.